Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for February 1st, 2017. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, Marvin pointed out he was 20 of 28 when he uh, when he recorded his video yesterday, when he finished his video yesterday. Uh, I'm 26 of 35. So, yeah, um, something must have happened. And a lot of people ended up with ship scan or maybe something else was going on. It's a little bit unusual. Now looking at the leaderboard, we do have Ash White, McTigshi, and Neg at 8.45. Machine God scored an 8.25, missing one scrap, most likely. Oleo Rag is at 8.11. Frost, 8.05. Mr. Potato, 8.04. Squirrel, 1811 at 7.97. Jeremy, Captain Jeremy Bird... Or, excuse me, Jimmery Bird at 791, and Girthar at 783. And if Marvin's to be believed, uh, it's quite a few people probably at 725, somewhere further down there. Uh, I did the best that I could on the ship, I believe. I might have to check out next recording to see if that was just a matter of finding or uh, getting ship scan, and others just got disadvantaged by turrets, or not turrets, but sentries or radiation. But that is an unusual spread and score, all things considered. So I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and get into today's, today's challenge and see what happens. Today we have stealth and nothing else. I'm okay with that. Stealth is definitely my favorite. And one infestation top again. It's a very unusual for that to happen. I do already hear- oh no. Oh no. I already hear swarm and... This is very, very bad. I already hear- oh, that's a vent, too. Okay, there's no swarm in here. I'm gonna have to do this fast. I'm gonna have to get lucky. Well, that doesn't really help much. <sighs> okay, here's where things get dangerous. Please move. Took a screenshot accidentally. Please move. Okay, I've got to move. <sighs> okay, so there's a there's a drone right there, and I can work with that, maybe. There's also a generator in that room. Which is only really helpful if... Oh no, 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 no. Door 14 is being attacked, but there is no 14 on my screen right now, which means I'm going to lose a room. Oh, no. <sighs> OK. 
Okay. Um, door 14 is being... Is not being attacked. That means there's an open door. background noise. there? There's not. <sighs> okay, um, there's a generator. I did see a generator, which, again, is extremely bad for me. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of this interface. And I'm gonna try... can pop A5 as well. I don't need that ship scan anymore. It's not going to do me any good. Now, doing that isn't going to help me much, but it will at least get rid of two swarm. There's five airlocks on this ship, and I can't find them. <sighs> I need to get rid of... This room is clear.
Okay. That's two groups in there, so that's my best case scenario. If D23 busts, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay. I need to do this this way. That is clear. Okay, that did not help me, but that is firmly installed and of course I did. Actually, Wrong buttons. <laughs> that could have been bad. Okay, this gives me a path now that I can work with. Kind of. Um, I know R6 is clear as well. Door 13 is being attacked. I'm going to open door 22. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this room. I don't need this room anymore right now. Same plan. Okay, new plan. of bad. The good news is I got everything out of that that I want. The bad news is getting Swarm into that room is not going to be easy. So it's, that's the only one in there. I'm going to go ahead and let this recharge. <sighs> that sucks. Could be worse, though. Hopefully 6 will power everything else. Maybe. Probably not. And if it doesn't power a generator very close by, or a, an airlock very close by, then I'm not going to be able to do anything else. Terminals destroyed, doesn't matter, I already got the ship scan. Now, 
It does kind of suck, but at the same point, I don't have two generators. Unless I get two... I did power the rest of the ship. Um, that's interesting that... Mm. Wow, seven airlocks. That is interesting... That's interesting that... Door 14 was briefly attacked. And then it stopped. That might have been the swarm that was in R5. Um, the other thing that I can take away from this is I can check every room except R9 from an airlock. So, I think that's what I want to do first. And see if I can get a path to R6, a safe path to R6. Because if I can go through A7 into R12 and then get into R6, that'll be great. What was that? Oh, not low at all. Okay. So. Let me check A2 first. Room is clear and has a. Yes, that's excellent. That's exactly what I want. And that swarm is in that room. What I really need to do is just check R12. Because if I can check R12 and verify that's clear, I can get in through A7 and I can do a scan on R8 and see what rooms I need to get. Sounds clear. Is clear. Excellent. How about this? Well, you know what? If there is something in there... If there is something in R4 right now, I can just skirt around it. And I should be okay. I say very pensively. Very pensively, because if I'm wrong, I lose a drone and all my ability to maneuver on the ship. I just want to double check. Excellent. So I can move those two on board. Dock to A7.
Take back the generators, keep that. And now, I have just about everything I need. The only thing that I wasn't successful at is checking R5 and R3. And in the end, what can you do? I mean, I could have had time to do it, but at the same time, radiation, and I'm glad that I got out. I know A2 is clear, and I only have the two rooms left. And I know I only have to deal with R11. R9 doesn't matter to me. R10 doesn't matter to me. Again, unfortunately, R5 and 3, nothing I can do about them. R7, nothing I can do about it. But you get what you can, and you leave with everything else. I'm going to dock to 7 so I can move 3 out of the ship. Or onto the ship, out of the docking vessel. I don't know if there's swarm in here, but I certainly don't want to find out the hard way and lose a drone. Sounds clear. Is clear. Just ship scan. So, I got ship scan today. There's that. One is off to the side. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and end. I'm just gonna have to deal with that open door, or those open doors. <sighs> I kind of regret not getting that, but at the same time, I don't know that I would have had time to, and it could have... Today, I have a score of 745, which is actually a lot lower than I expected, but I never looked at my drone health. Oh my god. I think that's the lowest drone health I've had in a very long time. My starting score was 460, which is extraordinarily low. Upgrade, one jump fuel, and 12 scrap. And a lot of that was help, to, help from the uh, ship scan. Uh, at least three of those, three, four, four of those, I think, were from the ship scan. Uh, so eight scrap otherwise. Uh, could be off on that number a little bit, but not by too much. So, let's see how everyone else has done. Uh, 745 is currently the top score. Now, the number one thing that I should point out, again, Swarm. Very dangerous. Three people out of the nine that have t that have placed so far, Ash White is still playing, have a score of zero. That's a third of the players. The other, Another third have at least lost one drone. With a 490, 400, and 285. 285 is probably two drones from Burning Ass Taco. And the others are some combination of may not have had ship scan. Because Dano forced... No, Kevin Lai is five scrap behind me. Person Man 61 is four scrap behind me. And I do believe four scrap was the difference there. Um, Kevin Lai may not have gotten the ship scan at all. And may not have been able to get one of them. May have decided to leave, cut their losses. A uh, couple different things could have happened. But it was a challenging run today, definitely. And a, a worthy Duskers run, I think. Overall, my only regret is in rooms 3, 5, and 7, where I wish I'd gotten that scan off while I could. I could have organized that a much better. Unfortunately... It wasn't in the, the play today, and it's possible to score higher than my 745 if there was scrap in those rooms, which I don't know. So, excuse me. So, if you haven't done your own run yet, first, good luck. Second, I highly recommend next time, don't check the leaderboards, don't watch videos beforehand, do the run and compare after. It's a much more pure Duskers experience, and I've enjoyed it this past month since I started doing that myself. And I think this is probably going to be the last time I say it. I'm just going to stick back to the normal good luck. Um, but I do highly recommend blind runs. Uh, I'll, be th I'll think on how I'm going to change that up. If you have done your run, leave a comment. Uh, at least of the this nine people that have finished, or the eight people, other people that have finished so far, and of course by the time this po is posted, several more, uh, there's a lot of variety that could happen on this ship. And I went through it in a very long, slow, kind of patient 
process, uh, trying to work through and work around as much as I could without taking damage, without uh, putting myself at too much risk, which is how I play. Um, but if you are much more risk taker, I've seen Neg get into a ship and just charge through it, no time at all. Same for Copper, and a little bit the same for Marvin. He's a much more tactical player as well. Um, but depending on your playstyle, you could get in, get out, and be done and fast and may not have any problems. You could have some trick that I don't know. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear of your own experiences on today's ship and how it differed from mine. And always love to hear those different experiences because that's that's why people do that's why I do let's play and that's why um, that's why I watch people's let's plays just to see how they do things differently than I would. If you enjoyed the video, do please like and have a good day.